easy delicious jamaican meatloaf look how soft and delicious this bread was with spicy beef inside let's jump right in in a bowl add some flour some dry active yeast some sugar some salt some olive oil and some buttermilk buttermilk is going to give it that nice soft texture to your dough after you've added all your ingredients just give that a little mix and you're going to now form your dough mix with a wooden spoon until you have a nice firm dough so that we're able to start rolling it out on our countertop make sure your surface is very clean add some olive oil to the surface and we'll knead and work that dough for a good 10 minutes guys nothing more nothing less 10 minutes dough is now ready when you can pull the dough and it stretches without popping off then you know your dough is ready I don't know why may I beat up the dough so hello but now you're just gonna get a bowl the bowl you needed in before add some oil to it and you put your dough in there and just mix it around get that rubbed up and then you're just gonna cover it with cling wrap and then a hand towel Guys, I will post this spicy beef recipe. The recipe is already on our blog. We use it in our taco, but I will post that. Add oil to your pan that you're going to bake on and just set that aside. Your dough should be ready. So just take off that cling wrap and we're just going to sprinkle it to flour on the clean surface. And then we're just going to divide our dough into eight pieces first in half and then four on each side divided your dough just form your dough into balls and make sure you close all the ends so that there is no openings left on the bottom you'll see how I do that in the video just knead it like how you would do a boiled dumpling After you've formed all your doughs into circles, just roll out your dough and then we're going to add the filling, the nice spicy beef filling. You can definitely add different kinds of filling. You can add vegetable. If you want me to make more different kind of meatloaves, just comment below. So now we're just going to add the meat inside the filling and after we've added the meat inside the filling we're just going to have a bowl with water and rub around the edges so that we can seal in the meat because we don't want it falling out. Take the top half and fold it over. After you folded it over just press in the sides to close it and after you close it you're just going to use your fork to create a nice little fun shape and that 
provides extra ceiling and closing for the door also but makes it cute also and then just continue this until you are finished with all your dough <laughs> Now we're just going to put that on the baking sheet covered with oil and let it rest for another at least 30 minutes and we're just going to brush it with some milk. You can also brush it with egg whites or egg wash but I find that milk gave it a nice, nice, you know, beautiful color that we're all looking for. Then you're just going to pop that in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes and there you have it beautiful Jamaican meatloaf brush that with some oil or butter I used oil and there you have it you will not regret making this it brought me back to home because it's here in America it's not here you know so it was so good to make it at home and brought back so much memories look how beautifully golden those are put that on a cooling rack to cool and wow look how soft that bread is it's so delicious it was so good so easy to make just look how easily that breaks apart how soft and nice that bread was wow i couldn't stop eating guys i couldn't stop but don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell and let me know how you like it the recipe is on jerktavern.com see you guys in the next recipe